Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Uh, here we have a 2004 Toyota Alphard van for you to look at. It's got just over 112,000 kilometers on it, which is approaching uh, 70,000 miles, so like 69,000 miles. So let's take a look around and we'll show you the features inside. So this is probably going to be a longer video because there's a lot of features to show you. But this is an 8 passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, which is about, um, or not about, it's uh, 19,000 yen for the road tax per year. Which is about $175 with the current exchange rate. Uh, the road tax is due every April, May time frame. Okay, so if you uh, get this from us, we'll go ahead and take care of the 2021 for you, and you'll be good until the end or until the uh, next year. All right, so let's go inside and show you all these features. Now, these are uh, really nice vans. Open that up all the way. Very, very clean. So let's start by uh, getting this engine rolling. All right, so 112, 348 on the odometer. Um, show you some of the warning lights over here. Obviously the one blinking is your um, seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts here, obviously. On base, off base, they uh, give tickets if you're not. Uh, the one uh, below it is your emergency brake. It is a uh, kick type. So when you kick it, it disengage, it goes away. Kick it again, it comes right back on. Uh, other than that, really nothing else on there. Uh, but if there, if there is anything that shows up on the dash, please pull over, find out what it is, and take the necessary action to correct it. Um, other than that, just a simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Uh, off to the left here, you do have your radio. This does have um, a rear camera. And then something else, when you put it in drive, off to the right here on the steering wheel, you could push this. That's going to uh, show you left and right camera. So. Uh, you can see right here, that's the end of the silver car. That's that legacy right there. Then the black one, all the way down, okay? And this one's a little bit faded. I'm not sure how much we clear that up, but then it goes down that way, okay? So this is uh, good if you're coming outside or coming out of a parking lot or an apartment that, uh, you know, Japan's notorious for putting up walls that you can't see, you know, the sidewalk or you can't see cars coming. Uh, it's really irritating, but this is a good feature to have, okay? And then you got your uh, your air conditioning controls, a little bit of storage. I'm sorry, that one's the um, cigarette lighter and ashtray, and that's their storage. Okay, might as well go to the left. Here you have a little more storage. You have your glove box. Storage in the um, uh, in the door on each side. You probably put maybe a larger, uh, a semi larger drink in there. Uh, you have some controls over here uh, for the mirrors. You got dual power sliding doors. Okay, uh, coin box, you get an extra key in there, or a spare key. And then uh, I guess let's go for the leg room, okay? So here's, I am 5'11", uh, seat is all the way back, all the way down. Um, I'm comfortable as is, um, I probably would have moved the seat back. Uh, this down here is your electronic toll collector, it's the ETC reader, so the, uh, if, you, if you're able to get the card for it, uh, then use it like easy easy pass it like in the states on the expressway there you have your passenger space you may see that uh, the red thing down there that is your road flare okay uh, you do have a compartment for your sunglasses and this is just a little card slot so you can put your ID card or something in there all right so let's go uh, let's see the view yeah that's pretty much it uh, can't really see past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles all right all the way back for a big van, it really doesn't have um, uh, too many blind spots. Or at least I, I don't think it does. So um, let's go ahead and show you the, some other features. All right, so let's go. Let's go here for one. The two handles right here is a release for the the gas cover, and then this is for the hood. Okay, and then you are able to raise the seat up and down if need be. Um, one of the great, uh, great features over here are these rain guards, okay? They're on um, the windows. So this will allow you to uh, open your window two to three inches uh, during the summertime, get that extremely hot air out by having some cross ventilation, some air going in there. Uh, and also always get a, a good windshield visor. So, uh, but these, you don't have to worry about any rain getting in. So let's open now. You just pull the handle once and lo and behold, look at this thing. All right, so the second row does have the ability to turn around. It's a kid favorite. Uh, they absolutely love it. I think it's actually maybe a little bit safer. 
and it does have the um, seat belts for it. So let's just jump on in. I just wanted to show you this. So just a lot of space, okay? Um, and you see it's on a rail system. So these seats can move forward depending on how much space you need in the back, okay? But then you do have storage and a cup holder on each of the doors. And what else? Um, controls, sorry, controls for the air conditioning back here. It does have vents all the way around. So it'll cool down a lot quicker, okay? But like I said, definitely, um, Definitely get um, a good windshield visor. I'll show you, let me refine this just a little bit. So off to the right here, you do have some cup holders, a little bit of storage up and down. Cup holder storage and another more storage down there, okay? Uh, it does have armrests, okay? So you uh, have your armrest. And you can put, uh, I'm gonna explain that once I get back there. But like I said, it's on a rail system um, that you put as much space as you want uh, for your passengers. So let's go to the back, climb out of here, and again, just one pull and it goes. So there's a space as is. So in order to, um, to push it forward, there is that little sign right there, there's a latch. So you slide this back even farther, or let's just say you, you slide it to there. So you give it both seats all the way up, okay? I'm just gonna pull that back, so. But you could also uh, put these up against the side, okay? They will release, they fold on top of themselves and they go up against the side. Alrighty. I'll show you the engine compartment. I'm gonna turn this engine off first. And I did forget to show you something. Right on the sun visor, we do have the auction sheet, okay? Uh, this was graded number four, so it's a no accident vehicle, non accident vehicle, okay? Let's uh, put that up there. And that's good to have. Uh, we keep them, so uh, you could use them when you're getting ready to get rid of your vehicle in uh, two to three years. Uh, as long as you don't get in an accident here, it, it's actually a good um, point to uh, tell the next owner of the vehicle. So there's your entry compartment, nice and clean. All right. So 2004 Toyota Alphard. Uh, 112,000 kilometers on it again about uh, approaching 70,000 uh, miles uh, military price of 5400 we get that down with an additional military discount down to 5200 that'll uh, include the two-year JCI the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty and we can explain that in detail when you get here the 2021 road tax and the 10% sales tax already included the only thing on top of the 52 will be your insurance that's based on your pay grade and age and whether you're going liability or full coverage that's totally up to you now, if you've had no uh, claims uh, for the last three years with your previous insurer, please let us know because there's a possibility we get you a discount on your new insurance policy here. Uh, I always encourage our customers to go ahead and shop around and then uh, come out to Johnny's Used Cars and let us show you what we have here. Um, if you're out and about, you have any questions, you think you're not getting the right information, go ahead and contact us. The contact information is below. However, if you're on our, your phone watching this, you need to click the uh, title of the video. That'll take you to YouTube so you can see that information for yourself. Or if you're on the website, click the bottom right of the video. Uh, that'll take you to YouTube so you can see that uh, information, but it's also on our website as well. Um, I'm always willing to assist you, so if there's anything I can do for you, just let me know. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Uh, take care and hope to see you soon. Thank you.